And look at that. So this video begins back in sweet home Tampa, Florida. It's good to be home. And here we are moving underneath the gates of the Florida State Fairgrounds once again. And look at this. They even have a parking tram. Parking shuttle. Reunited and it feels so good. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time reunited. Yep. Chris the girl and I, my fiance. Heading into something, uh, I've never done anything like this before. I've been to a ton of conventions, ton of shows, but I've never been to a recreational vehicle show. Welcome to the super, super, it's super, right? Yep, super. Super duper, no actually, <laughs> <laughs> the Super RV Show, Florida Super RV Show, and it's happening this weekend here at the Florida State Fairgrounds where we have been before. Us, we've been out here before, we've been here before for so many times for the Florida State Fair. Uh, reptile festivals. Shark Con. Shark Con. I uh, love the fairgrounds out here on the east side of Tampa alongside I-4. Always something going down here. And here we are for an RV show. And I'm honestly thinking about, we've been thinking about buying an RV. We legit have talked about it. Many I don't. Times before. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if that's gonna happen today, <laughs> <laughs> but keep that in the back of your mind because we are. So things we could do is something like that. But here we go. This isn't my first. Oh, this is my first time. This isn't her first time. No, nope, this will be my second time at this particular RV show. But I've been to many, many, many different RV shows my entire life. It's one of my favorite things. Times. It looks fun. We're gonna see a lot of cool stuff. Also, yeah. your parents are here. They are here, and my parents live full time in an RV. So RVs are have always been a part of my life, and now they are becoming a part of your life. Oh, as well. They, uh, yeah. All right, we'll we'll keep it right there. You'll see it all when we get there. There's much ahead. Bye bye. No. No. Hello. Stay tuned. <laughs> Not bye bye. Okay, here we are. We scanned our tickets. There is already an RV right there in front of the main expo hall. Also, I hear Caribbean music. Live entertainment, sounds good. Got the steel drums going. And immediately as you walk in the door, greeted with a giant table full of programs. All the information here we will need today and check it out. RVs all the way down to the left and to the right. And right here to the left, first what I see, the Airstream, classic Airstream. Wow, Prevost. Look at this, that's a tour bus, oh my gosh. And we're gonna start by checking out these right here, these Class B campers. Basically, an extreme version of a conversion van. All right, we begin with this one. They're called Pleasure Ways. This one looks like it's on a Dodge chassis, a Dodge Ram. Uh, Pleasure Way Tofino. It's very tiny. This would be something we could use. Look, it has a pop up there too. I believe there's a bed up there. Chris the girl checking it out. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go in through the back. Check this out. Here you go. The doors are open. It's got the bed here. Looks like it folds up to like a table area. What's that? Oh, is that it's the fridge? fridge? Yeah, it's got a little kitchen in here. This would be all we need. Stove top. I like it. Plenty of kitchen counter space. Oh, there's a telescopic ladder here. Oh, nice. Yeah, ladder. All right, now I'm inside. I'm a tall dude. Look, check yeah. it out. There's a bunk up here. That's pretty cool. It is cool. And you got a nice little window. Right here, here's the driver's seat down below. And the uh, navigation chair. We're <laughs> We're moving right in. We got the camera up on the bed. Yeah. I wonder how much this thing cost. I don't know. All right, folks, this is the price right there. Almost 92000 And here's a look at the front of it. Ram. My great-grandfathers both worked for Chrysler, so there you go. This could be ours. <laughs> I don't know. We're just looking, window shopping today. And it looks like they also make this pleasure way for the mercedes sprinter vans as well inside the mercedes now now this one's a little more fancier it being a mercedes and it has a bathroom got a commode look at that commode it's even got a shower in there too all right i'll be back in five all right see ya see ya a little, table. A little round table it's got a slightly bigger tv 
fridge in fridge. there. And it's got a microwave up top here and it's even got the all important commode. Sorry about that. Here. I thought I flushed twice. Well, yeah, I can tell. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Let's just close that. Right? Wow, almost 60 grand more than that last one. Also, this one has an awning. Check that out. And this probably goes without being said, but you can actually purchase RVs here. And I think that's the whole point. You get a bigger discount here at these shows than you do normally at the dealerships. Oh my gosh, look at this. Well, hello up there. Good, how you doing? I'm pretty good. Things are looking up. Where's the bathroom? Oh, it's actually actually directly behind you, back in the corner of the building. Depends. Depends. Oh, that's so good. I didn't realize. Oh, wow, you're so tall. Got jokes up there. All right, these two are still in the show here. All right, now back to the RV show. <laughs> Hard to top that one. Yeah. Also, yeah. Chris's parents are here. Here we are. And Daisy. And Daisy, too. Look at that. Daisy, you want to check it out, too? Woo! All right, classic Airstream. Not too far from here, a few miles down the road, they have the Airstream Tampa dealership. They didn't have to drag these down too far. Also, my first time ever in an Airstream. Yeah. I've always wanted to see these things. They're pretty cool looking. Yeah, it looks like a 50 spaceship. That's why I always like the look of these. So cool, timeless. This one called the Flying Cloud. All right, we waited in line to get in here. It's pretty bumping, check it out. I like the dining area. This is the front area. Oh, this is the master right here. Yep, this is the bed right in here. I like that. Here's the front area, kitchen, sink, refrigerator. Another bed out here in the corner. Also a little bunk up there. This is the restroom. Open her up. And the restroom. Nice shower in there. There's a lot more room in that shower than I thought there would be. And there's the aerial view right there. The blueprint of the flying cloud. And there's the price. $9.49 a month. It could be yours. Look at that. All right, this Airstream trailer. Check it out. Now this would be more reasonable for us something small we we would need a larger vehicle to pull it to haul it but something like this if we were to do like a trailer as far as an rv this would be it let's check this out this is called the base camp x rei edition which is a camping store they have one in tampa never been to one all right gonna step right up check it out this is a kitchen area right in the front nice spacious windows this is cool also your cooking area, there's a microwave down here to the right, little refrigerator, and right here's the bunk. It's just the basics. Also storage under there. Let's check out the bathroom. It does have a bathroom. Okay, so your toilet's inside the shower. There you go, saving space. You can shower and, yeah, at the same time. Oh, I love this. Yeah, check it out. Oh, cute. I love that the kitchen is up at the front. Look at all nice, the spacious window space up here. Yeah. So if you're showering, you don't want to get the toilet paper wet. So you need a toilet paper cover. Look at that. That's clever. Also, a little storage right there above the tongue of the trailer. Just a little bit. So it's pretty cool. It comes in at about 62 grand. A little under 500 bucks a month. Wow. And Airstream also creates the Class B, the conversion vans, camper vans. Wait till we get into the like the giant tour buses. Oh yeah. It's gonna oh, be yeah. like, hold the beer, hold the coffee. Now heading to the other expo hall, the building to the left of this one, this is the vendor room. All the RV vendors. Ooh. Not only can you buy RVs here, you can find places to park your RV. Check it out. Camp Margaritaville here. And check it out right here. A little uh, video of where you can camp. Look, we're going in the main gate. Camp Margaritaville. Resort and cabins in Central Florida. This is, uh, I believe, just off of I-4 somewhere. They've got that land shark logger on ice. Oh, yes. 
five o'clock somewhere. So many RV resorts represented here. Also, they have RV accessories. Several vendors selling stuff for your RVs. RV loans even. You need a loan? They got it here. Also products. Look at that. It's coming right out. Also, you can bring your pets out here. Hey, nice little, oh wait, almost said doggy. That's a hoggy. Whoa. Daisy, be careful, don't get too close. Uh oh. And campgrounds from across the country here. Oh yeah, main camping guide right there. That's pretty cool. Also, I see Ohio, New York. People are here from all over. This is a big event. This is one of the largest in the country, by the way, this show, super show. Picking up some literature there? Yeah, well, my parents might be able to use some of this because they're always looking for places to stay all across the country, so. And who knows, maybe we'll go camping in Maine. I'd love to go to Maine with, with you. With our new RV. Maine with my Maine squeeze yeah. in our new RV. BW, big winches? No. Oh, companion, fifth wheel hitches. I was close. Yeah, you can actually buy hitches, different mechanisms here. And also, they have the hooks. There you go. And you can make your RV solar power. Check this out. Flex solarenergy.com. That's pretty awesome. Flamingo! Oh my gosh, this is the best booth. Hands down, they have flamingos. And check out the name of it. Jamar. I thought that said J-Man. J-Man Flamingos, Port Ritchie? No. Jamar RV Resorts. Check them out. Are those flamingos for sale? I'd really like to buy one. And of course, you can replace your recreational furniture right here. Nice. Nice leather, smooth. And Bob and I are enjoying this one. We got our feet all laid out here, right here in the showroom. Sold. I don't know where I'd put this though. I don't have an RV. I like it. Should we buy the sofa first or the RV first? Sofa first. Okay, what well, came first, the sofa or the RV, right? The RV really there we go. And here you are, just to show you how large this room, this vendor room is. Got a few aisles, several aisles here. There you go, for perspective. I'm gonna grab a koozie here, these are cool. KOA. Okay, and we have finally made it outside. This place is huge. This is just a small corner. Actually, it opens up more out to the right. All right, this is called La Mesa Storyteller Overland Rec Vans. I'm gonna check out this area right here. All right, more Class Bs. These are very fancy looking. Here's one here that's already sold. This is called Storyteller Overland. Yeah, this, uh, compared to the first one we saw, yeah, this is a little more uh, decked out. I like it though. Would you, would you say maybe a little bit more rugged, do you think? A little maybe more rugged? more off-road sort of thing? Yeah. I could kind of tell with like the... Oh yeah, these just, little zippers around yeah, here. Yeah, this is here. Yeah. This is cool, I like this. Oh wow, the shower's up in there? Yeah, so you pop out the thing so you can shower right here in the middle of your Whoa, room. Whoa, okay. Yeah, it's more like durable, it's more for... Ugh, yeah, aggressive outdoor, outdoor behavior. I like it. Got a nice little fire going here. Look at that. Don't get too close. That's dangerous. Never listen. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Globalvehicles.com. This one's popular, as you can see. People want to take a look inside of this one. I think I do too. Standing in line to go inside. This is the rear of it. Look at all the pullouts there, the size of the tire. This thing's ready to go through the desert. This thing is ready to go through a pickle. It's ready to go through anything. Yeah. It's a tank. Let's get real. It's ready to go through Armageddon Day. It's ready to go through. And here we go. It's our turn. This is called a Patagonia by Global Expedition Vehicles. This is amazing, huh? Yeah. Okay. Here we are on the inside. Check that out. That looks comfy back there. That's the far end of the trailer. Yep. With the, the Patagonia. Is. There's the restroom. Yeah. There's also a washing there. machine there over is. there. Yep. And over here, oh, it looks like yeah, they're nice uh, little... Chiefs fans. They've got a Mahomes <laughs> jersey in here. It's the seating area, and then you can peek inside the... It's pretty fancy. It's actually yeah, it's fancier than I thought it would be in it here. It is, yeah. It's very nice. Got the Keurig and over there. Got a, a bed up in here as well. Yeah. There's a oh. line here. We can't cross it, so... Yeah. This is where you go. Oh, there's also a bunk up there. Yeah. I didn't see the price tag on that. 
It can't be that expensive. It, no, not at all. That it's probably the cheapest one here, I'm right? I'm sure it is. No, <laughs> not at all. It's gotta be like Thanks. probably the most expensive. Thanks huge. All right, so you want to buy it? Yeah. All right. Sold. Pull out barbecue outdoor kitchen here with a little cooler. Global X Vehicles also makes the Turtle on the Ram chassis there, the Adventure XT on the Ford F550 chassis, and the Adventure truck. Look at that. That's amazing. Grabbing a sticker here. I like the logo there. Adventure trucks. Check them out. Good old Cummins motor here. Cummins Red. Check that out. Yeah, that's what you need. Right there. I know someone's watching. They said that. I need that. <laughs> well, there you go. RV City. I mean, we have barely made a dead. We it's crazy. There's a whole yard out there. Yep, sure is. Classic glasses. I love those glasses. Thank you. All right. Free Solo. These little teardrops here. Now, this is more within uh, what we're looking to maybe hope. Allegedly. Hopefully, allegedly, maybe, hopefully one day own. Something small like this that we can pull. And as you can see, these don't weigh as much as some of the pull behinds we've shown you so far. These look a lot lighter. Oh yeah, it's got an electric griddle there. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice little kitchen on the back of this one. These are so cool because the kitchen is on the back of them. Oh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, you stand outside and you And look, you got coverage. Oh, yeah, exactly. Whoa, look at this guy. Oh, he works here. He's, he's cleaning up the sidewalks. Man, he must wear size 16 shoes. They're huge. Playing some brown eyed girl. Hey, where'd my brown eyed girl go? There she is. So, you wanna go inside the red one? Yeah. Okay, there's also some other stuff over here I'm now seeing that I might be more interested in. Yeah, I think so. There's so much. This one's called Romo, R-O-M-O. -O. All right, here's the lounge area, AKA the bed. I'm sure it folds across there. Got the sink, got the the S and S bathroom. That's two S's for yep. There you go, and a little kitchen area right here. I like it. I like this one. Couldn't find how much it weighs though. I would say it's under a thousand pounds. Also, no price. You bring up a good point. We just really need a place to sleep. Let's yes. let's face it. We're constantly making videos. We're on the go. If we're at a campground, we don't need a shower or a yeah, bathroom. We yeah. Well, we do, they, but we do. But they provide they those, provide those facilities. They provide the facilities. And Shower house. Bathroom. So something like this would be more ideal. Yeah. Inside, you got the AC, you got the bed, you got music blaring. That's all you need. Well, besides the music. We need Metallica, please. And over here by the lake, in front of what looks to be like a mini version of Epcot, you have the A-frame pop-up campers. Good old pop-ups. Approaching the pop-ups, Como RV are placing these out here. Ooh, I see a tiny one over here. Look at that tiny one. Watch your step. Here we go. Oh, this is spacious. There's more room in here than I thought. It's a little wider than I thought. Check it out. And I can stand up because it's a point here. You like that? Oh, it just, yeah, it just closes like that. Okay, so when I was a kid, we also had, we had a Winnebago, an RV, we had a pool behind trailer, and we also had a truck camper. Not this fancy though. All right, we're going in. Yeah, it's a going small in. door. It should open up, I think. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is cool. Okay, all right. Yeah, I kind of like this. Got the nice big bed up here. Just got to get like a, a $70,000 diesel truck to put it on, right? And we got a ginormous oh, tea a here. Right it's refreshing, it's good, iced tea. Yeah. I got a half and half, half sugar, half unsweet. That's how I do it. Not only RVs, little cabins that can be purchased and set on camp campsites. I see these across the country all the time. Yeah. Instead of RVs, you just set these little trailers. Not, not bad, they're beautiful inside yeah. too. Okay. Yeah, let's check one out. Okay, this is fancy. This is bigger than my last apartment. Got a sofa right here. Very popular in here right now. I got the TV, the fireplace. Got the blue heron. A neat display underneath this pavilion here. Look, more teardrops. Check these out. Looks like they're by a company called New Camp. N-U-C-A-M-P. I like this green one right here in the center. It's called the Boondock. You can do some boondocking in this one for sure. I like the kitchen off the back here. 
Look at that, just what you need, all you need right there. Yeah. Little storage space Sorry, under the cabinet, under the kitchen, sink. All right, and two glasses. Yep. That's, That's all we need. For you. And some tea and tea. All right, here you go. This one just shy of $32,000, by the way. Just lay down in here and go to sleep. Got the little AC unit right there. And there you go, that's all it really is. All right, I'm going in. I'm gonna check this out, whoa! All right, I, I fit in here so far. Yep, that's yep. good, yep. okay. <laughs> nice little uh, skylight view there. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, okay, this bed's actually pretty comfy. All right, go in there the normal way. Oh, okay, way. Yeah. let me yeah. Yeah, shift it. Sorry about the dirtiness of my feet. There you go. Okay, yeah. There's plenty of space in here. I think there, are there people outside waiting? We'll be out in a second. Hold okay, on. We're, we're enjoying on. this. Yeah, we're legitimately trying to figure out if this <laughs> no, could work. Tampa J is a tall guy. And they even have it in pink. Look at that. Oh, pizza flamingo right there. Right there. That would look cool. Check out this little toaster here. They also have this one called the Barefoot. Very vintage looking. Very retro. Looks like it came out of the 1960s or 50s. Very narrow too compared to the Airstreams. Very spaceship looking. It's even got a restroom in here and a shower. Check it out. Very popular right now. Got the bed towards the right. 44,000 bucks for this thing, just about. Whoa, what is that? Where did he come from? <laughs> Easter Island. Okay. Ah! It's a dragon. Oh, that dog's not having it, not having it. Check this out. And thanks to Bob for grabbing some mini donuts. These look delicious. Right, Daisy? Right? And the Freightliner chassis. Look, just the just the truck itself. Ready for an RV. And this one here, Bob was telling me, <laughs> this is just a pusher. You don't have the actual cab. Just the motor and the frame. And this thing's Brand new, 1,000 mile warranty, five year warranty. How about that for a camper? Drawn by an armadillo. KG and the Ranger Cowboy Entertainment. Oh, there's a possum right behind it. Oh no, a skunk. It's a skunk. Howdy. Yeehaw, how's it going there, cowboy? It looks like it. Thousands of people out here. This is it's pretty incredible. Keeps going and going and going. Okay, this might be the cheapest we've seen so far. Rubicon. It says 124 a month. We got a giant toy hauler here. When you look at the back, you see that little patio, that little deck back there? Yeah, that, that folds down, right? Yeah, that thing will go into a ramp so you can drive your toy up inside. So the whole back end has fold up furniture in it. So you can drive your golf cart or your ATV up inside the back end of that. There you go. And then back down again, and once you get it out of there, you turn the back into that deck. That's pretty cool. So if you go over and look, you'll see that all the furniture back there goes up against the wall. Here you go, the back deck. Just imagine a Harley Davidson sitting right there, maybe a golf cart. I think Chris the girl's in there. I'm gonna climb in here. Here we go, the Hall of Toys. It's just standing right out there. Very spacious, got a bathroom here in the back. Just the commode. There you go, just walked from the toy area into here. There's the TV and also the restroom. Here's to the left, and the main room back there. A lot of people checking it out. Oh, there's also a door there too. The shower right there. And fun fact here, shout out to my mom. She sells RVs in Indiana and she sells Alliance. Walking through the Alliance right now. List price 75. Show price, 54, almost 55. Wow, look at all this space in here. Yeah, it's a lot of space. Okay, huh? yeah, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Price difference. Uh, Quite a lot. It's actually kind of cheap compared to some of the stuff we've seen. Yeah. As far as like square footage, yeah. Right. I'm trying to give you 
feel there you go up the steps past the restroom here oh nice little shower with a skylight and here's the restroom or i'm sorry the bathroom or the bedroom wow long afternoon okay this is super nice get out of here you nosy little pellet i'm gonna slap you silly home alone I'll, too I'll do the, yeah i'll do the tim curry <gasps> Perfect, nailed it. Bootborn, located 10 minutes from the fairgrounds. We're gonna take a shortcut through here. Barn A. Welcome to the Alcatraz of Tampa for horses. And we have entered back into the show. Look at this. It's a maze of RVs. This is fun, this is amazing. Okay, back on the main path. We have found Winnebago. We used to have a Winnebago when I was a kid. Actually, identical uh, Winnebago RV as you saw in the first couple seasons of The Walking Dead. It was the exact model. We had the exact same one. Nice area over here. Check it out. Winnebago all set up. Got the fake grass even, got the AstroTurf. I like this one. This is called a Micro Mini. And it is 44,641 buckaroos. Let's see what's inside. All right, here we go. Oh, super nice. Got the classic fold-up table there, bench seats. Got the commode all the way to the rear. The shower, almost a full fridge. Woo, and a skylight. <laughs> okay, I like this one. Oh, and there's the bed, it lays back there. All right, it looks like Chris found a cool one over here, this Class B. Looks like it says something, oh, it's a National Park Foundation. It's the National Park Series. Here's another one, check it out. This is an electric one, I believe. Yeah, an electric Winnebago. I like the graphics on it. Also, I see solar power in the roof there. And the classic setup over here. Look at the classic Winnebago camper. We had one like that also. A little bigger than that one though. Nice little trailer. Look at this Winnebago, I like the color. Look at that orange. It's got that Dodge uh, Mopar orange, like the General Lee. 175,000 buckaroos. All right, let's do it. <laughs> this is awesome. They've got the wood, dark wood, actually. So cabins, cabinets. Got a double bed here. Got a toilet in the back. All ready to go. This is fancy. I like it. It feels like the 70s in here. Yeah. <laughs> My, I have an office uh, full of mahogany, filled with <laughs> many leather-bound books. <laughs> Anchorman. Yeah. Oh my glory, look at all that cheeseburger. It's a giant cauldron of cheeseburger. And a giant cauldron of Italian sausage. Ooh, foot long. Who's got the foot long? And we have found the Tiffin area. Again, this is what Bob and Kathy own. Chris's parents, so we thought we'd come check these out. Right, Daisy? They look familiar, don't they? Don't they look like home? Yeah. Don't they look like home? Okay, so you guys have an open road. Yeah. That's, Allegro. A, that's a gasoline powered. All these are diesel powered. Right. I like to have this map to show you what motorhomes are in which place. Like this one here is a Midas, I believe, on this Ford chassis, Class C. I'm learning stuff. Look at that. I don't know that either. <laughs> I think that I think it's yeah. that one. Midas. Yeah. I've heard of Wayfarers, but I didn't know they had one called a Midas. Oh, it's the Midas Touch. Maybe, maybe it has it. Okay, this is a Class A here. This is one of the biggest ones Tiffins creates here. This is uh, a whopping MSRP of six hundred and four thousand four hundred and four dollars, but you can buy it here today for four seventy nine ninety five. This is a twenty twenty three Allegro uh, Allegro bus. Here's the schematic blueprint, the aerial view. Chris the girl already inside. And here we go. Wow, definitely a tour bus. Check this out. Captain seat. Whoa! I feel like we're in the casino across the street. This is amazing. This is double the size of my last apartment. <laughs> wow. Look how that pulls out there. That's definitely the largest refrigerator we've seen the whole show. It's a full size. Ice maker. Here's, another, here's one of the tables. 
You got a little pantry there? Put some spaghettios in there. <laughs> little restroom here. Actually, I think it's got two bathrooms. This is the front one. Halfway through, a master bedroom. Oh, yeah. Nice living space and a fireplace. By yeah, Holy that mirror Lord. makes it look a whole larger than it is. I like that. It does, yeah. But check dual a lot sinks bigger. inside of here. Look at all of the cabinetry and the mirrors. Oh yeah! Wow, oh. this is insane. <laughs> What's in there? I think it slides. Oh. Check this out, Chris. Watch this. Okay. Whoa! Oh hey! Washer and dryer. Very important as well. Nice to have a washer and dryer. They're side loaders, but it'll do. Oh yeah, better than nothing, trust me. <laughs> and then yeah, full size that is cool. shower in here. Wow, dual thingies. And you got Spigots. the skylight. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right, we'll take it. Park it permanently at uh, Disney World. <laughs> that won't be too expensive. 604,000 MSRP. Yeah. It's on sale though. Wow. 400 and... 50 something. I don't know. That one right there so far definitely checks the show. That was the nicest so far, yeah. I, I'm gonna say the Prevost for mm -hmm. last on the way out the door, the giant the giant tour bus that we saw when we first came in, we didn't walk through that. Those will blow your mind, That'll yeah. probably be the last one we show because I'm yeah. expecting it's gonna be that or like Times that one. a lot, yeah. Or more, yeah. Yeah. Okay, wow. A lot of RVs. A lot of RVs, This yep. is fun. This is a lot of fun, yeah. So you're saying this is your Favorite class B so Honestly, far? It is, and, and maybe just in general. I really, really like okay, this. Okay, check this out. So we're it's in the. Uh, what's this? Midas. The Midas. Yeah. We've been in a Midas before, but this yeah, one's a little different, a different on the inside. One. Yeah, I didn't want space in Check it out. There you go. Good old Ford chassis there. Chris the girl really likes this one here. 137,495 buckaroos. All right, is this the one? What, are we really doing this? All right, we'll take a picture. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, I think we've been here like what, six hours? Long, long time, yeah. This is fun. Oh, look who it is again. It's the robot. This could be your backyard. I'm just saying, this could be your backyard. She barely wants a lot. That's okay. I'm sure you'll listen. Bye guys, give me five. Bye 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 Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Sir, I'm talking to the children and you're taking pictures of my butt. I got your butt, man. It's big. That's just wrong. <laughs> that is so wrong. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, the Prevost area, check it out. Wow, there's so many of them. Got the Liberty to the left here. You've got Emerald, you've got Featherlight. I'm just reading all the signs. I don't know if that's what they're called, but that's what it looks like. That one there is just glowing. Wow, it's very popping. It says that this one here to go inside here is a by, by appointment only. I guess you have to have an appointment to go in that one. That's how fancy it is. Yeah. Okay. Looking back at the south side of the expo hall, check it out. The grandstands up there. Been here for a numerous amount of events and conventions. Crazy. I came here for a high school graduation once even. Years ago. Chris the girl. Right there, looking through the front window of that one. Let's do the same. There you go. Wow, now that's luxury. Luxurious. All right, we have to take our shoes off to go into this one. Look at that. Right, this feels good, doesn't it? It does, actually. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm glad I wore matching socks today. There you go. That's always good. Yeah. Looks like alligator skin. Yeah. Yeah, it is? Okay. Wow. wow. Check out the floor here. Hardwood floor. All right. All right, this might be my favorite. <laughs> this is fancy. Even got alligator here. Yeah. Nice little fireplace. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. If Elvis Presley had an RV, it looked like this. Probably, yeah. This is made for a king. 
Check this out. Whoa. Back this way. There's the bed. Well, it's got two restrooms. You got a toilet here and a shower, walk-in shower. Nice light there. And then you also you got the toilet over there. This big bed. It's a walk-in closet. There's the tube. All right. It's probably the fanciest one. How much is this? Did we check the price tag? They've got a walk-in closet back there. And a, a washer and dryer right there. Got any cheese? <laughs> there you go, the Marathon Coach. A Prevost. That's what we were just in, the orange and black one. I like that design. And we're back at where we started, the first one. Back where the started. Tofino. Mm -hmm. And I still think this is my favorite. Yep, this pop up. Still your favorite. It's pretty good. The fact that you could pull it up to any parking lot of any um, theme park or a uh, baseball stadium in yep. America. Roll it through any city, any gas station. Walmart, parking yep. lot. Yep, makes it pretty Don't need a bathroom. Pretty nice, no, I don't nope. think so. Nope, well, you, you need one, but not, yeah. not in this. Yeah. <laughs> so these come in about 92,000. Um, from what we've seen today, having uh, to pull something with a truck, that the price for that, and the trailer, I think these are a pretty good deal. So, there you go. Well, hey there, Yogi. Thought we'd see you here. Check it out, back in the Expo Hall vendor room. Camp Jellystone. Hey there, Boo Boo, you got any picnic baskets? Ooh. All right, everyone, that's it. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Also, if it was your first time here. Christopher Collins, show office. Christopher Collins. Christopher Collins, please come to the show office. Uh, there we go, announcement time. Great time out here at the Super RV Show. We'll be back. I am tired. I need some pizza. Yep. yep. And it's time to get home. Mm -hmm. uh, subscribe to Chris the Girl on YouTube, my beautiful fiance here. Check out her adventures, her adventure as well here. All right, that's it. That's it. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and no matter who you are, what you're going through, just watch ahead. And we might buy an RV. Someday, maybe. 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 <laughs> Watch it. Goodbye to the Florida State Fairgrounds. And also, see you very soon. Florida State Fair, right around the corner. All right, every year. Watch ahead.